Hello everyone, I have decided to make my first video. Uh, first of all, I'm using the Sapphix Craft Resource Pack for 1.19.2, and uh, these are all the mods I'm using. You can pause if you want to see them all. Okay, those are all the mods I'm using. Um, I'm using a slightly outdated version of the minimap, and I'm just gonna jump in and start new Let's Play. Uh, hard difficulty. Um, well, actually, no, normal because, yeah. And yeah, that's fine. Let's create the new world and see what I have. Hopefully, it isn't desert. I'm fine with anything that's not a desert or ice spikes biome. Give me anything that's not either a desert or ice spikes biome, and I'll be good. This might take a while. I have a kind of cheap laptop. Uh, I'll probably skip over this part in editing. If not, then you just get hear me say stuff that I'm not sure will be even in the final video, um, as you can tell, it's very slow, la it's slow at loading, um, once it loads, I'll just get into it and hope it's not a desert or ice spikes. If it is, if it is a desert or ice spikes, uh, I will probably cut this video, just completely, just get rid of it. Okay, it's getting there. Uh, almost unloading. I do need a better computer. Uh, okay, it's getting close. And now I just sit here while it loads. Joining, okay. Uh, loading terrain, okay. Okay, cool. A uh, birch bomb. I can, I can work with this. I can work with this. Once the line gets ironed out, I can definitely work with this. Now, right now I'm just using a bunch of client mods you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, if you want to see me play actual modded, then you can just tell me in the comments below. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get a few basic materials. Just, you know, just this is how I have to start. Uh, wooden pickaxe because that's the first thing you should craft. If you craft anything else first, not play the game. Right. And I'm going to punch some of this grass to get some seeds. Okay, that's one. I tried five at least. Okay, that's the second one. Give me, give me your seeds. And uh, once I get the seed, come on, come on, let me get. Seed, please, come on. Come on. Come on, get the fifth seed. Give me the fifth seed. Okay, good. You'll notice my computer likes a lot, but that's because this is a new world and I don't exactly have the greatest computer, so. Okay, so I think I'm going to. Oh, I, I might as well collect a few of these pumpkins as well. And turn them into pumpkin seeds. Okay. And I'll put those 
in my inventory as well. And let me look at the map. Okay, so it looks like okay, so it looks like I have a I spawned in the bird spine here. It looks like there's an oak forest over here and the dark oak forest over here and that looks like it goes out into ocean there's a lot more over there okay so i think are there and there don't seem to be any mobs well well oh is that no that's just a tree okay And this seems like a good spot to start a mine, so I'm just gonna start a small mine here. And... Uh, also, uh, here's a quick tip. Um, when starting a new mine copper out, uh, for every stone tool and a furnace, you need 19 cobblestone, so I always focus on getting exactly 19 cobblestone, and then I dig down further to try to find iron. I know it's more efficient looking at around at in on the top of mountains for iron now because of the 1.18... Well, well, I don't know if they changed it in 1.18 or 1.19, but recently they changed it saying that iron is more commonly found on the surface of mountains than it is underground. Okay, it looks like I dug into some dire white. Uh, that might be... Uh, well, um... <laughs> Iskal is going to hate me for saying this, but, um... This might be useful for building later on. Um, in moderation. Uh, okay, there's some cobblestone. I just want to mainly just dig past this die right and so I can get cobblestone. Okay, good. Good, this is actual cobblestone now. Now, like I said, I'm going to get to 19 pieces of this cobblestone, and then I'm going to stop because, well, because I don't need any more than that, at least not this early. Okay, it looks like there's copper, but I'll need a stone pickaxe for that, so I'll wait for that. So, yeah, this is my first video of this uh, that I'm going to upload, uh, and just tell me in the comments what type of Minecraft videos you'd like, uh, like, if you'd like me to continue this let's play, or play modded, just, just tell me what you want to see, and I'll try to find a creative way to make something that, uh, that everyone enjoys. Okay, now, now, the next step is to create stone tools, of course, because can't get iron without stone tools. And... Okay, I need more sex. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, I also need a shovel. I, uh, shovel. And that's a stone tool. Uh, now. I will try to find sheep and I'll probably cut this out of the video but if I don't 
Oh, wait, apples here. Um, yeah, I... I suggest getting flint as soon as possible. As soon as possible, because... If you do that, you won't have to go hunting for it later on when you have iron and everything. Uh, and before I forget... I also suggest making at least one chest. Now, if... Now, if you really don't mind about the aesthetics or anything, um... Bales are actually cheaper to craft than chests are, so... That's a quick tip. Like, right here, I'm crafting chests because... Just because I do not care. But bales are slightly cheaper, but only if you craft multiple. Also, here's a quick tip. You... If... A tree is extra tall like this, you can just continuously jump like this to reach blocks you otherwise couldn't, except this one's extra, extra tall, so there's an extra one there as well. And... Yeah, I always just suggest just... This... On the way, well, okay, I'm accidentally... I'm still getting used to how chests work now, uh... Okay, all of that stuff's in there. Um... Before I forget, there's actually one... One more thing I suggest doing. If you're going to be out exploring any everything and you don't have the resources to build an actual base, but like know the location, but know where you want to set up a base. Uh, a good way to mark the location is with a campfire, because it's it can be used as like a cheap beacon, kind of. And it also gives off, gives off night and light, which can also be helpful. Uh, also, just... Yeah, I just need... I just need one piece of charcoal, uh, and then I can make a campfire. And now I have a little beacon, well, beacon, um, of where my base is in. And first of all, it gives off light, which is very helpful, and... Yeah, just... Mm, yeah, just having light is useful. And... Okay, well, uh, it's turning night. Um, and I think that's going to be my first video, so... Goodbye, and... Hopefully you're well to my next video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching, and... I'll hopefully see you next time, uh, and next time, goodbye.